Please remain standing for the procession of graduates.
we'd like you to remain standing. I'd like to invite Pastor Luis for the opening prayer. Almighty and eternal Father, giver of all good gifts, giver of life and health, we indeed are grateful for this momentous occasion this afternoon. When we can, the Lord celebrates with these graduates the God this afternoon. Even as they graduate the God from this great alma mater, and even as the God they prepare for the world out there, we pray, God, your blessing upon them. We pray, Father, that you will keep them as much, God, as you have kept them throughout these five years. We pray for open doors. We pray, the God, that you would order their footsteps. And even as we gather here together, the Lord, to celebrate with them, we pray your blessings upon this ceremony. We pray, God, that you will preside as Lord and Master and that you will give direction by the power of your Holy Spirit. And I pray to God that all in all, the Father, at the end of it all, it will be a good time of celebration. One, the Lord, that will go down in history. And that the Father, the God, wants the God this afternoon will be proud of. Bless every item on this agenda. And I pray that all in all, the God, something will be said here today. That shall the Lord even speak the God to our inner man. May the God... You as Lord Eternal, receive all honor and glory, even as we continue throughout this program. This we ask in Jesus' name. And we pray, God, that your blessings would continue to rest upon each one, especially the graduates. May your favor continue to locate them and your blessings overtake them. This we ask now and forever. Amen. This is a time of praise and thanksgiving, so we're inviting you all to clap your hands, sing along with us as we give God thanks. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than I. For thou hast been, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. When my heart, when my heart. been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy when my heart is overwhelmed oh lead me to that rock that is higher than that is higher than I that is higher than I I command my the Lord. I command my feet to praise the Lord. Feet. Feet. I command my hands to praise the Lord. I command my hands to praise the Lord. Hands. Hands. I command my body. I command my body to praise the Lord. 
the Lord. I command my body, body, praise the Lord, body, all my help comes from the Lord, all my help comes from the Lord, all my needs He will supply, all my help comes from the Lord, all my help, it comes from the Lord. from the Lord, cause he's a miracle working God, miracle working God, he's a miracle working God, he's a wonder, he's a miracle, he's a miracle working God, he's a miracle, he's a miracle, he's a wonder, a wonder, he's a miracle, He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder, wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. We're singing victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I told, get thee behind. Joy today, let's sing. Peace is mine. Peace is mine. Peace is mine. Peace today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Peace today. One more time. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, I told Satan, get thee behind. Cause victory today is mine. God is so good. God is so good. Oh God, He is so good. He is so good to me. If He's been good to you, sing, God is so good. Oh, he's so good to me. God is so good. My God, he is so good. He's so good to me. Sing thanks, thanks, we give you thanks. Thanks, we give you thanks for all you've done. We are so blessed, our souls are at rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. One more time, sing thanks, 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 thanks. I give you thanks for all you've done. I am so blessed, my soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. I am so blessed, I am so blessed, my soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us.
thank you. You may have your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty members, and most importantly, the resilient and determined graduate in class of the Dominican Grammar School. It is my distinct honor and privilege to stand before you today as one of your masters of ceremony for this momentous occasion. We gather here in celebration under the overarching theme of pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity to acknowledge the remarkable achievements and indomitable spirits of these exceptional graduates. Today we pray, today we pay tribute to their unwavering determination, unwavering dedication, unwavering perseverance throughout the academic journey. The Dominica Grammar School, a bastion of knowledge and excellence, with a history stretching back 130 years has nurtured countless generations of students. It has provided them with a solid educational foundation and equipped them with the tools necessary to navigate the challenges that lie beyond these walls. In a world rife with uncertainties, these graduates have exemplified resilience in the face of adversity. They have confronted unprecedented challenges head on displaying strength, adaptability, and an unwavering commitment to their goals. Their resilience has been tested time and time again, but they have emerged victorious, proving that setbacks are merely opportunities for growth. Today, we applaud these graduates for their unwavering pursuit of their dreams. They have dared to dream big, to envision a future brimming with possibilities and to passionately pursue their aspirations. Through their hard work, dedication, and the guidance of their exceptional teachers and mentors, they stand here today, ready to embark on the next chapter of their lives. As we celebrate this remarkable milestone, let us not forget the invaluable support and unwavering encouragement provided by the families, friends, and faculty who have stood by this graduate's side every step of the way. Your presence here today is a testament to the immense pride and joy you feel as you witness their accomplishments. So let us join together in this moment of celebration to honor these graduates for their resilience, their determination, and their unwavering commitment to pursuing their dreams. May this graduation ceremony serve as a launching pad for their future endeavors, and may they continue to inspire others with their extraordinary accomplishments. Congratulations, graduates of the Dominica Grammar School. Your futures, it is bright, and your dreams are within reach. Today, we celebrate you. I am Mrs. Dorcas Francis Simon, one of your hosts for today, and this is... My name is Mike. And I'm Michael Augustine. To formally welcome you, we have our salutatorian. And our salutatorian is the student with the second overall highest average. The salutatorian of the Dominica Grammar School class of 2023 is a beautiful young lady from the cozy Southwest, Southwest community of Point Michel. The daughter of Wellsworth and Paula Etienne, Ashley is a devoted student who previously attended the St. Luke's Primary School, where she developed her passion for mathematics. Ashley's academic achievement has been evident over the past five years, and her presence here today is proof of this accomplishment. Her favorite subjects are principles of business, history, and mathematics. A member of the school's environmental club, Ashley has been a very diligent student and shows respect for her peers and those in authority. In her free time, she enjoys reading and listening to music. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you our 2023 salutatorian, Miss Ashley Vicky Etienne, to offer the welcome remarks. Minister for Education, Human Resource Planning, Vocational Training, and National Excellence, Mrs. Octavia Alford, Honorable Shakira Lokat, Hippolyte, Featured Speaker, Chief Education Officer, Dr. Jeffrey Blaze, Senior Education Officer, Secondary Schools, Mrs. Nasari Teet, and other Ministry of Education staff, Principal, Ms. Edina Dalton, past principals and past teachers of the Dominica Grammar School, PTA President, Mr. Aina Alexander, and other executive members, representative from Dominic, Fine Foods, and other benefactors, members of the class of 87, representatives of the class of 88, representative of the various business houses, representatives of the various media houses, staff of the DGS, Parents, well-wishers, and other invited guests, graduating class of 2023, good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this momentous occasion, those who are seated here with us and those who have joined us via social media. We are honored to have you here to celebrate this important milestone in our lives. We give thanks and praise to God. When we're in the first form, we were asked to write down our goals for the future. For some of us, one of those goals was to graduate. So for those of you who wrote that down, we can sit here proudly and say, yes, we accomplished that goal. I want to begin by acknowledging the hard work and dedication of all of you who are graduating today. We have overcome challenges, pushed ourselves to the limit, and challenged ourselves intellectually, emotionally, and physically. We have shown resilience in the face of adversity, and I do hope that we have emerged stronger and wiser. Throughout the years we spent at the Dominica Grammar School, not only did we study mathematics, integrated science, and wrote essays, but we, learned the, but we formed friendships, learned independence, and learned the importance of teamwork. Our celebration today is not just of our singular achievement, but that of an entire group. Our graduation ceremony is another theme, pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. High school was never meant to be a smooth sailing. The road was not always easy to walk on, but we got through it. We had obstacles and setbacks. When we were suddenly hit with the COVID-19 pandemic, we had to resort to virtual learning. It was tough for most of us, but we proved to be resilient and adapted to it. Our dedication, perseverance, and determination have brought us to this moment. Every challenge we have gone through has taught us a lesson which will help us to grow. Look at us. We are standing firm and tall. Class of 2023, guided by and given the unwavering routine support of our parents, guardians, friends, families, and teachers. Their continuous guidance, support, and encouragement have not gone unnoticed. Officials from the Ministry of Education, guest speaker, principal and staff, parents and guardians, benefactors, online viewers, and well-wishers. Once again, a cheerful welcome to the Dominica Grammar School's Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. Thank you very much, Ashley. Allow me to introduce the esteemed principal of the Dominica Grammar School, a remarkable educational leader with a rich legacy. With a history spanning 130 years, 
this school holds a special place in the community and its principal has played a pivotal role in its continued success. Recently, she undertook diploma studies in management, augmenting her already exceptional leadership qualities. Her commitment to continuous improvement and dedication to her role as principal make her an invaluable asset to the school and its students. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Edina Doughton to deliver the principal's report. human resource planning, vocational training and national excellence, Ms. Mrs. Octavia Alfred, Honorable Shakira Lockhart, Hippolyte, featured speaker, Chief Education Officer, Dr. Jeffrey Blaise, Senior Education Officers and the Secondary School of the Secondary Schools, Mrs. Nazarene Teet, Past teachers of the Dominica Brown School, PTA President Mr. In Alexander and other executive members, representatives from Dumleg, Fine Foods and other benefactors, members of the class of 87, representatives of the class of 88, representatives of the various business houses, representatives of the various media houses, staff of the DGS, parents, well wishes and other invited guests, graduating class of 2023. Good afternoon. Graduation ceremonies are always, always such special occasions. The culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained and the acknowledgement of success achieved. As we look back on the road we have traveled this last five years, we can definitely relate to the exceptional moments, the magical moments, the disheartening moments, all memoirs which will fondly remember over the years. In spite of the stones buried our past, and there were times we fell down, but steadfast, resolute, and determined, we remained on our common purpose at an institution to encourage and develop lifelong learners in the young men and women sitting here this afternoon before you as members of the graduating class. Our entire institution is shaped and framed in part because of how much we value disciplinary excellence. The staff and department heads of the Dominica Grammar School are constantly seeking ways to find the right pitch for our students so as to advance their thinking and knowledge as much as possible. Our teachers are challenged in this era of rapid technological advancement to prepare students for rich lives, strong careers, and the ability to be able to think innovatively about the future and the systems that impact the world in which they are living and are going to work and to raise families within. In January of 2023, this institution celebrated 130 years. Among the activities carried out to mark this significant milestone was a mural painting. Members of the graduating class today were part of this painting activity. The mural echoes the philosophy of the founding fathers of this institution and is a testimony to the various activities conducted throughout the last academic year. Permit me to direct your attention to the pages in your graduation program. And if you turn to your graduation program under the section of activities, events, and achievements, Allow me, bear with me, as we go through some of the activities 
that we undertook as an institution for the youth. The French department participated in and won first place in the Emblem Week of Activities in October of 2022. Students of Form 1 and 2 developed a greater appreciation for the language after interacting with their peers from the college Felix Aladin Fleming, a private secondary school in Guadeloupe, in March 2023. The French Francophone Day was celebrated with some activities to include a waiter's race and the sale of French snacks. The English department also had their turn to showcase their talent. Rashad Paul and Diana Sport participated in the inter-secondary school debate. We did not journey very far in this debate, but we are thankful for the experience and the exposure. Kishma Theophile, Eliana Tajoli, Rashad Paul, and Magabensky Mesodo participated in the social welfare organized girls versus boys debate. The girls came out victorious. Lydia Charles and Catrell Steadman participated in the DAT Spelling Bee. For Literacy Week, various activities such as dress up as your favorite book character day was held. There were in-class competitions, spelling, reading, and Jeopardy games. Safina Prosper and Kiana Daru were awarded best speakers in the Literacy and Debating Club in, the, in school competition. The science department on World Water, Day, Water Week observed the day and they painted, it's not there, but they painted a mural in which the students pledged to conserve water. Students also attended the Dowasco Water Expo. Over turn, again, the humanities department as part of the Creole Day activities the Creole Icon Show was held, and one of our students, the Emerge winner, as part of the couple's taken part, is graduating today. For History Week, teachers of Kalinago descent were recognized. There was also a sampling of Kalanu and indigenous herbal teas for all to enjoy. Imagine my surprise at this generation's appreciation of what we commonly call bush tea. I was genuinely surprised. In March, Common Day, Wealth Day was observed. The colors of the OECS were encouraged to be worn on OECS Day in June of this year. The Humanities Department was also responsible for organizing field trips to various tourist sites, including the Kalinago, Banorana, Ute, and the High Court of Justice. The Pastoral Department held educational sessions for the, for the PTA, and this included areas on how to identify signs of grooming. During current week, classroom visits were done to educate and provide guidance to the field farmers prior to the subject choice selection. In the sports department this year, our athletic team placed first in the sports division, National Secondary Schools Athletic Com Championship. The football teams, the under 13, under 15, and under 20, received gold in the sports division, secondary schools football championship, and second place in the under 17 category. The school placed second in the cricket for the under 16 in the sports division cricket championship. DGS also received second place in the girls under 20 volleyball championship. If I had to continue on the number of activities that took place for the youth, you would become a bit um, bored with me. But just permit me to, I beg your indulgence once again, to recognize that this year also saw the introduction of the Inter Arts Club, which is a junior club of the Rotary Club. In March of this year, this new club was established at the school. Various hiking activities were also undertaken by the Adventure Club, and students thoroughly enjoyed themselves. It was an extremely active year. Our clubs were very vibrant and active this year, this academic year. We were now back face-to-face -face 
and the students and teachers seize the opportunity to once again return school towards a new sense of normal for everyone. The year had not been without its fear of challenges. This afternoon, I would like to take the time out to address a significant challenge that our school and other secondary schools would identify with. That is the challenge of finding quality after-school programs for our students whose parents both work outside the home. It is deeply sad and disconcerting to know that many students do not get the supervised care that they need in the witching hours between the time the school day ends and the time parents arrive home from work. The end result being generations of our young people lost to the streets, to substance abuse and alcohol. At the Dominica Grammar School, we are more affected by this due to our unique situation of a shared space. Our students are dismissed much earlier than the other schools, and as such, they roam the streets rather than head on home. They loiter on the street corners, on the blocks, and in the parks within the city limits. And I liken the situation like Oliver Twist and the parish boys. Though our students are not pickpockets, we all know that this does not lead to any good. Today, I'm appealing from this podium for greater involvement on the part of the parents, guardians, the police department, the Ministry of Education, the Social and Welfare Division, to work more closely with the school to arrest and put an end to the situations occurring on Virgin Lane outside of Bevels, the Botanic Gardens, and on the bus stands where our students assemble before they make their way home. If intervention does not take place soon enough, and seriously enough, we as a society will suffer dire consequences. Never fail to accept that one of the consequences of the streets is the thriving business of the undertaking. Graduates, before I leave, I want to address you. Let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you for a job well done. Through hard work and determination, all of you have achieved something remarkable. Today, you and your families and friends have the opportunity to celebrate and reflect on these achievements. I want you to look forward and consider the future and the positive impact your newly gained qualifications and skills can have on the built environment and even more importantly, on the lives of the people who live and play within it. Let us be in absolutely no doubt, no more than ever, the world needs a better, safer and more sustainable built environment. The challenges of fast-growing populations, rapid urbanization, and climate change are the driving forces behind the need for more resilient buildings and smart cities, coupled with the general pace of technological change. These challenges demand that you, every one of you sitting here, consider it your responsibility as a global citizen to be the guardian of our substantial, precious, and highly intricately built environment. The world is depending on you to discover solutions which are creative, innovative, and human-centered. You are needed more than ever to be sensitive and appreciative of all the natural environment, particularly those that you live in. As a graduate, of this school, it celebrated 150 years on January 16, 2023. It is expected that you will not err in upholding the highest professional standards and qualities. And it will not be, you will not fail to be at the center of exceptional solutions for the built environment. 
In closing, I urge you to reflect on your achievements and celebrate with your families and friends who have supported you. Thank them for their valued support and sacrifices, which were an integral part of your studies. Make them even more proud of you as you develop your careers and help to make a better built environment. Class of 2023, go out there, and as your film says, persevere, develop, and I know that you have that resilient attitude, continue to strengthen your ability to be resilient in this fast growing and ever changing society. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Dalton, for this very detailed and realistic report. And uh, I really am grateful for you reaching out to all our stakeholders and speaking to them about the truancy and the delinquency that happened as a result of the pool up um, sports in Roseau. And we trust that all our stakeholders will come on board and really assist us in eradicating this issue that we are dealing with. At this juncture in our graduation, we are going to present the graduates with their diploma. And as such, we would like to call on the Minister of Education, Human Resource Planning, Vocational Training, and National Excellence, Mrs. Octavia Alfred. Please make her feel welcome as she comes. Photographers, once you're ready. Photographers, complete me. Graduating with honors, Tiana Alexander. Also graduating with honors, Ashley Etienne. Distinction, Kefera Bastien. Merits. Alge Alfred Raquel Baron Our list of graduates merits Thea Blunder Thea Blunder is our deputy head girl. Hilkayo Constant Amaro Dupi We 
we continue with our merits. Nathan Emmanuel. Every John Baptist, our head boy. Every is the head boy of the Dominic Oklahoma School. Rosalina Lee. Nayabel Parkett. Deshaun Roberts Tiara Serral Jared Smith. <laughs> Shania Centros. Abigail Toussaint. <laughs> Abigail Toussaint is the head girl of the Dominica Grammar School. <laughs> Janiah Winston is graduating as well, but Janiah is sick and is unable to be with us this afternoon. Please give Janiah a round of applause. Our power will continue with our passes. Kellen Albert. Maya Alexander. We continue with our passes. Joshua Augustine. Lariah Augustus. Raquel Benoit Mia Blaise Kanye Bontif Nasari Bugunu
Bukezio Bukari. Zaria Bowers. Junella Brummond. Amil Bruno. Abiel Castle. Akila Daisy. We continue with our passes. Lanel Daru. Nelia Defoe Tracy De Gallery Maisha Eli Julissa Esprit Brennan Esprit Marcus Yusef Iversha Fontaine Hello, Francis. Dial Francis. Enrique Francis. Joni Francis. And this is not a joke, but Miss Francis said all these Francis's are cousins.
Zaida Frank. Abigail Gabriel <laughs> Alian George <laughs> Jaden Gregoire Edric Harris Jamai Honore Terje James Shashamani James Shamira Javier Caitlin Joseph Michaela Joseph Noah Joseph Adessa Lando Jaden Laronde and he is our deputy head boy. Amelia Lawrence Josanna Lendor Louisa Lewis Latuan Luge
Mixer Mafio. Sophie Maximer. Morgan Moyes. Edmund Moranzi. John Paul Itodo. Mayel Peltier. Jamel Philip Tyra Prince Braden Prince Ifo Talani Reed Pikion Renault Clevian Richards. Josh Robin Nessa Royer Kezia Seraphine. Nigos St. Rose. <laughs> K. 
Khadija Sejong. Celia Thomas. Del Murray Timothy. Maya Tuse <laughs> Selena Wayland Amari Winston Anton White You know, Mr. Gustin, it's already been 27 years since I wore this gown. Can you imagine that? Yes, it's all that time, 27 years. She looks old. Okay, right? <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Mrs. Uh, the Honorable Octavia Alfred for her service. Let's give her a round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to present to you the graduating class of 2023. We are now going to welcome them to do their graduating song.
Here we go. Guess who? Class of 23. I got you guys. We can handle it. Hold up. We, we can handle it. <laughs> and he's older than me and stronger than me. And his arms a little bit longer than me. But it's not gonna be graduating with me. I be trying to chill. They be trying to solve with the frill. No point in time. It was raised by the power of will. Like look with the force. It push comes to shove. Like Kobe in the fourth ice water for blood. I gotta be the best Daniels, with the flyers like David, I go lie if I conquer the giant. So now I got the world in my hands, I'll go from two stars, so the moon's where I land, I'm gone. I will never say never, I will fight, I will fight you forever, to make it right. You may be seated. Mrs. Simon, what's your favorite line in that song? Never say never. Uh, for me, it's big it up, big it up, big it up. up, up. <laughs> you know, I actually wanted to sing with the class, but Miss Masler said no. Yeah. I saw you, I saw you bought a book, how to solve 50% of your problems. And then you went for a second copy. Why did you do that? No, I didn't. I read it twice because I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there was a book being sold, how to solve 50% of your problems. She bought two. You know what that means, right? 100%. She, she solves 100% of her problems. <laughs> you guys were good. You guys were excellent. At this time, we would like to invite the minister again, Madam Minister, while we begin our presentation of awards.
our valedictorian for 2023. The award goes to Tiana Alexander. And we would like that all the students be applauded as they come up to receive their awards, all right? Salutatorian Ashley Etienne. Madam Minister, we beg your indulgence to allow Mr. Val Coffey to give us the Bullseye Pharmacy Student of the Year Award, Thea Blundell. Thank you very much, Mr. Coffey. Yes, Madam Minister, we continue. The Mr. Dennison Mitchell Award for Academic Achievement, Hadassah Constant. The Miss Priscilla Packett Award for Academic Achievement, Amara Dupi. <laughs> Mr. Timius Garres Award for Academic Achievement, Rosalina Lee. Mr. Glenn Ducre's Award for Academic Achievement, Raquel Barron. <laughs> Mr. Carlyon McPherson's Award for Academic Achievement, Tiara Seron. The Jays Limited Award for Academic Achievement and Sportsmanship, Avery John Baptist. The Jays Limited Award for Discipline, Rosalina Lee. Mr. James Rodney's Award for Responsibility and Dependability, Hadassah Constant. <laughs> Mr. Brent Williams Award for Responsibility and Dependability, Kaziah Seraphin. Ms. Tammy Jean-Jacques Award for Responsibility and Dependability, Abigail Gabriel.
Miss Nellister Tracy Daniels Award for Responsibility and Dependability. Jaden Laron. The Ghana Trotter and C.C. Tafari Award for Courageous Spirit, Hadassah Constant. The Dr. Peter Hill, Mr. Ray Francis and Mr. Jonathan Bellot, who is known as the Free Wise Men, their award for aspiring leaders. We have Thea Blundell. Avery John Baptist. And Abigail Toussaint. Mark Memorial Award for Determination, Nathan Emmanuel. <laughs> Mr. Charlton's Bruni Award for Determination, Preston Charles. Mr. James Rodney's Award for Effort and Consistency, Raquel Barron. Ms. Celia Robinson's Award for Effort and Consistency, Shania St. Rose. Ms. Crystal Spagan Award for Effort and Consistency, Amara Dupin. <laughs> My cheerleaders, you are losing steam. Amara Dupin. Thank you. Mr. Augustus Rivier's Award for Effort and Consistency, Hadassah Constance. <laughs> Miss Maria John Baptist Memorial Award for Steadfastness in Rising Above Challenges, Aljay Alfred. <laughs> Honorable Alfred, okay, we have a representative from the class of 87. And the award is for overcoming obstacles and persevering to achieve. Nathan Emmanuel. The school's award for service to the school. Thea Blundell. And we've got quite an extensive list of students for this award. Hadassah Constant. Kaya Constance. Yeah. 
Nathan Emmanuel. Abigail Gabriel. Every John Baptist. Jaden Laron. Edmund Morancy. Abigail to say Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a graduation exercise is an extremely expensive undertaking. And we'd like to thank our sponsors, Auto Trade Limited, Bullseye Pharmacy. Busy Bubble Laundromat Inc., Central Cooperative Credit Union, DZ Touch, Domlek, Dawasco, Fine Foods Inc., Jays Limited, Josephine Gabriel and Company Limited, Peak Art Limited, Resignated Design Limited, Mr. Malcolm Alexis, and Mr. Cohen George, and Mr. Darren Ambrose. We're going to continue for awards the DGS Award for Excellent School Spirit, Thea Blundell. Another recipient of this award, Abigail Gabriel. Every John Baptist. Abigail Toussaint. Cohen Levi Maxime Memorial Award for Industrial for Industrious Industriousness, sorry. Nibel Packet. <laughs> Mr. Shadrach Burton Award for Artistic Excellence. Kithera Bastian. <laughs> Mr. Inner Alexander Award for Regularity, Shamira Javier. Miss Judy Francis Award for Regularity, Maya Alexander.
This is Paula Jean Jacques Award for regularity, Maya Toussaint. Mr. Kenrick Jean Jacques Award for regularity, Louisa Lewis. Mr. Benton White's Award for regularity, Avery John Baptist. Principal's Award for Discipline and Excellent School Spirit, Abigail Gabriel. Thank you very much, Madam Minister. I'd like to invite the PTA President to deliver the PTA Award. Please welcome our PTA President, ladies and gentlemen. The PTA Award for Academic Achievement, Kithera Bastien. And the PTA Award for Conduct and Deportment, Jaden Larond. I want, I want a fan like Jaden's mom. And another recipient of that award, Josh Robin. Thank you, Mr. President. We are now going to have the presentation of the Sports Award, and we are going to call Mrs. Nazarene Tate, the Senior Education Officer of Secondary Schools, to distribute these awards for us. Let's give a big round of applause as she comes. Be like Jaden's mom and support and scream for everybody, okay? Mr. Brendan Williams Award for Male Sports Personality of the Year, Noah Josie. And if you are in here and you're a skinite, let me hear you roar. That's right. Skinner knows how to do it best, Mr. Augustine. I was in St. George's. That's a count. Miss Trenis Hamilton's award for Female Sports Personality of the Year, Alian George. <laughs> Unfortunately, she was not in Skinner. Unfortunately. <laughs> she was in Dominique. Mr. Glenn's Etienne Award for Football, Noah Joseph. Go Skina. Miss Colita Hamilton's award for netball, Nyabel Paquette. Shanna's Ham Shana Hamilton's award for volleyball, we have male Noah Joseph. <laughs> and female 
a Leon George. Mr. Donis Robinson's Award for Basketball, male, Jaden LaRonde. And female, Alian George. Mr. Liam Sebastian's award for track and field, male, Noah Joseph. And female, Alian George. Samuel Award for Cricket, Edmond Morancy. And keep looking out for this boy. Soon you'll see one who in this team, guaranteed. Yes, I want to agree. This is our next, this is our next West Indies selected cricketer. Award for Leadership in Sports. We do not have the trophy with us, Noah, today, but we want you to know that it is Noah Joseph. So just take your walk, Noah, but the trophy is here. Take your walk, take your picture, smile, and rock for skin, Noah. There are a few other sports awards, and we'd like to sincerely apologize. Um, but we, we are going to call the students' names, but because of, because of uh, some shipping difficulties, we weren't able to have them with us today. So uh, we will just ask you to stand in your seat. Miss, you may kindly take your seat. So while we recognize you. The Malcolm Alexis. You'd like them to come? Mrs. Tits? Okay. Okay. Listen, anything you tell us to do, we're going to do it. The Malcolm Alexis and Cohen George Special Sports Award for Basketball, male, Noah Joseph. Female, Akila Daisy. Volleyball, male, Edmund Morancy. Female, Niabel Packet. For netball, Akila Daisy. Netball again, Niabel Pocket. Uh, 
and netball, Alian George. We're continuing the sports award, cricket, Jared Smith. Football, every John Baptist. And football, Anton White. And our awards for track and field, Michaela Joseph. Edmund Morency. Nixia Matthew and Nyabel Packet. Very much missed it. We are now moving on to the subject prizes, and for this, we are going to have our chief education officer, Dr. Jeffrey Bless. Let's make Dr. Bless welcome as he comes. Miss Ivonia John Baptist Luge Prize for. English language. Uh, Dr. Blair, she's here, so she'll be doing this one. So you can just... Tiana Alexander. Janice Henry's Prize for Literature, Raquel Baron. <laughs> Mrs. Summer Bozell's Prize for French, Shania St. Rose. Miranda Jennifer Williams Prize for CSEC French, Tiana Alexander. The Waspos Prize for Spanish, Adassa Constant. The DGS Class of 92 Prize for Mathematics, Tiana Alexander. The Mrs. Natasha Jones Prize for Integrated Science, Tiana Alexander.
Mr. Mervyn Anthony's prize for physics, Hadassah Constant. Mr. Renier's Jeffrey Prize for Chemistry, Hadassah Constant. <laughs> Dr. Idolin John's Prize for Biology, Hadassah Constant. <laughs> Also for biology, Ashley Etienne. <laughs> Josephine's Gabriel Limited Prize for Human and Social Biology, Amara Tupi. The DGS Class of 88 Prize for Information Technology, Maisha Eli. And Jared Smith. Fine Food Inc. Prize for Agricultural Science, Kezia Bukhari. We do have a rep, Dr. Bless. The Domlex Prize for Electricity and Electronic Technology, Jaden Laron, and we also have a rep. DGS Prize for Electricity, Preston Charles. Desi's Touch Prize for Office Administration, Louisa Lewis. Mr. Emil Lancelot's Prize for Technical Drawing, Tiana Alexander. Katie Julian's Prize for Food, Nutrition and Health, Nyabel Packet. There's this touch prize for family and resource management, Amara Dupi. Mr. Daniel Reed's prize for industrial technology, building and furniture, Alge Alfred. And that award also goes to Eddie Royer. Call the auto trade rep. Mm -hmm. 
the Auto Trade Prize for Auto Mechanics Repair, Deshaun Roberts. That award also goes to Avery John Baptist. I'm sure Auto Trade will be happy to have these men. They can put a transmission down in 30 minutes. The Miss Sharon Philogen's Prize for Physical Education and Sports, Akila Daisy. The Mr. Stevenson Higher Students Prize for Visual Arts, Kithera Bastian. You should see the artwork that this young lady produces. The Miss Merita Higher Students Prize for History, Ashley Etienne. Natasha Jones' prize for geography, Tiana Alexander. The Mrs. Cassia Davids prize for social studies, Raquel Barron. Mr. Ray Francis Prize for Principles of Accounts, Tiana Alexander. The Central Cooperative Credit Union and Ms. Aliyah Martins Prize for Principles of Business, Rosalina Lee. to the form prizes. The Your job is not over yet, sir. Form 5-1, Mr. Benton Hillier's prize for conduct and department, Joshua Augustine. Crystal James is prized for school spirit, Kaziah Seraphim. From 5-2, Resonating Designs Prize for Conduct and Department, Shamira Jovey.
Honorable Shakira Lockett, he won his prize for school spirit. Josanna Lendor. And Selena Willard. Mr. Duran Ambrose Price for Academic Excellence, Amara Tupi. <laughs> Ms. Daphne Villas Price for Application, Thea Blondell. Adam Ford's prize for conduct and department, Jaden Laron. And Miss Leah Martin's prize for school spirit, Theo Blondell. From 5-4, Ms. Taiska Williams Prize for Academic Excellence, Tiana Alexander. <laughs> Mrs. Daisy Williams Prize for Application, Ashley Etienne. Mr. Augustus Etienne's prize for conduct and deportment, Anton Wyke. Mr. Kess Andrews' prize for school spirit, Abigail Toussaint. from 5-5. Five, five. Ms. Shereen Lawrence Prize for Academic Excellence, Rosalina Lee. Marco Hector's prize for application, Hadassah Constant. <laughs> the Mrs. Jeanette Raffles prize for conduct and deportment, Brennan Esprit. Mr. Alvin Anthony's prize for school spirit, Avery John Baptist. Thank you, Dr. Bless. 
Thank you very much, sir. We'd like to invite Mrs. Duran. While she's making her way, we will acknowledge some of our sponsors. Mr. Kess Andrew, Mr. Alvin Anthony, Mr. Mervyn Anthony, Mr. Jonathan Bellot, Mr. Colbert Bertrand, Mr. Charlton Brody, Mr. Gil Chris Burton, Mr. Sadra Burton, Mrs. Cassia David, Mr. Kent Edwards, Mr. Augustus Nittin, Mr. Glenn Nittin. And the Ms. Joanne Durant Award for Diligence and Perseverance in School Spirit, Pikion Reynolds. A tenacious young lady with zeal and strength of mind and character. Tiana Alexander lives with her parents, Ina and Tessa Alexander, in the southern village of Bellevue, Chopin. Before coming to the Dominican Grammar School, she attended the Pioneer Preparatory School. For as long as she can remember, math has been her favorite subject. Because of her unstinting efforts, Tiana's name has been on the principal's honor roll for every year that she spent at the Dominica Grammar School. As a member of the DGS Peer Counselors, Tiana was a source of inspiration to her friends and other DGS students. She loves to travel and explore new places with her family. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the young lady who today stands head and shoulders above the rest, our 2023 valedictorian, Miss Tiana Ebony Shani Alexander. Honorable Minister for Education, Human Resource Planning, Vocational Training, and National Excellence, Mrs. Octavia Alfred. Honorable Sherik Shakira Lockhart, Hippolyte, Featured Speaker. Chief Education Officer, Dr. Jeffrey Blez. Senior Education Officer, Secondary School, Mrs. Nazarene Heath, and other Ministry of Education staff. The Principal, Ms. Adina Dalton. Past principals and past teachers of the Dominica Grammar School, PTA President Mr. Aina Alexander and other executive members, representatives from Domlex, Fine Foods and other benefactors, members of the class of 87, representatives of the class of 88, representatives of the various business houses, representatives of the various media houses, staff of the DGS, parents, well-wishers, and other invited guests, graduating class of 2023, good afternoon. It is an honor to be standing here at this moment as your valedictorian. Let me start by giving thanks first and foremost to my God, Jehovah, for giving me the strength and much needed endurance to get through these years. Without his provisions and guidance, I wouldn't be where I am today. 
Secondly, to my parents. You both have been my number one supporters and inspiration throughout the years. You cannot imagine how much influence you have had on me. Your example in hard work and charity, your discipline, and most of all, your love and spirituality. <laughs> Saying thank you is not enough, but I will still say it. Thank you, mom and dad. I love you both. To my older brother, Javan, thanks for both the big and small things that you do, and for being an example in how not to take things too seriously, and helping me to understand that being able to laugh at yourself doesn't mean being a failure. To my uncles, Terrence and Jason, and to my other family members, a big thank you. To my direct teachers throughout the years, the principal and all the supporting staff of DGS, thanks on my behalf and also that of the entire class of 2023. Last, but in no way least, in a special way, I also want to thank my close friends for their support throughout high school. We've laughed, cried, and grown together over the past five years, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. So to the original members of 1-3, those with us and those not with us, and the few others who came into my life later on, thank you. I will admit, five years ago, I really didn't want to come to grammar school but I would have missed out on so much if I had made that mistake. I would not have met some of the most amazing people that I have ever come across. People that have made an extreme impact that will now stay with me for the rest of my life. I also would not have had the opportunity to be enveloped in the richness of the history of an institution that despite its bumps and bruises has been there for over 130 years and has produced so many of the most successful and beautiful people we know. This experience has shaped me and will help decide where I will go in the future and how I will get there successfully. Looking back, I can see the last five years through the stages of a butterfly. In its early stages, as a helpless caterpillar, it's nowhere near its full potential. But through a process of time and challenges, it is transformed. It metamorphosizes and becomes a beautiful creature with wings that cannot just fly, but are beautiful and amazing to look at. The thing is that it doesn't get there overnight. It is locked in a cocoon for a long time and has to squeeze its way out at the right time and in the right place. Likewise, when we all started, we were young, inexperienced, vulnerable, just like that caterpillar. But we have had five years to metamorphosize. Some of us, a few more. We have been through forms one through five. We've survived Ms. Jajak and Ms. Dalton we have had to cope with teachers like Mr. Augustine, Ms. Maxime, Ms. Cornelius, Ms. John Jules, and many more names too numerous to mention, who have helped pound us into shape and help us to survive physics and other challenging subjects. We also had to endure COVID. These were hard times, attempting or even pretending to have classes from home. Dealing with the uncertainty, the challenge to keep away from distractions, problems of devices, problems of the internet, problems of Domlek, and with teachers not always being at their best. And we missed being with each other. Even though most of us were in grade six when Hurricane Maria hit, it is us who have had to feel its impact without end. It has not been easy being at school without the best school building. Having to share facilities of the Goodwill Secondary robbed us from having many activities and fun like the generations before us were able to enjoy. We remember using the portable toilets, waiting for the co-houses to be built, and coming to school twice a week. We've recently been dealing with a new construction zone with noise, dust, and other associated discomforts. Unfortunately, none of us will be there to enjoy that new school, but still we pushed through. And these were just some of the challenges, but in the end, it was all worth it. Some of us have excelled in sports and in academics, and DGS still has the respect and admiration among its peers. Our heads are high, we are full of life, and the sky is our limit. Although on the road ahead there are many uncertainties, however, we are a product of challenge and can make it into an opportunity. We are butterflies now able to fly on our own. Our struggles have not been easy while we endured them but they made us better, stronger. We are ready to fly on our wings have been tested and are now DGS certified. We still have a lot to learn and many expectations to deliver on, 
but we are ready to take on those challenges and make a difference in our lives and that of others. While we fly out of hell, let's continue to be there for each other. The relationships we have built can last a lifetime. In this world where life is so short, we have to cherish the moments that we have together and take advantage of the opportunities that we are given. Success is not your luck in life, nor is it only a consequence of your circumstance. It takes hard work, determination, humility, and you'll continue to need support from friends and family. Let us never forget to give credit where it is due. As the words of Philippians 4 verse 13 says, for all things, I have the strength through the one who gives me power. Thank God for every waking moment and every opportunity that we get. Some of us may one day become doctors, engineers, architects, teachers, farmers, bus drivers, and lots more. It doesn't matter what career we choose. We should not measure our success simply on our academic achievements, but also on the strength of our character. What is important is not just who we are on the outside, but on the inside. Whatever we choose to do, let's try to be the, de the best at doing it. As we move forward, I encourage you to maintain the friendships you've made in high school. These relationships have been a source of support and joy, and they will continue to be in the future. We're all embarking on new journeys, but we don't have to do it alone. Let's stay connected and keep cheering each other on. I also encourage us all, in whatever path we choose to pursue after this, to make wise decisions and to take care of ourselves. Whatever challenges we face, let's use that to build strength in our wings so that we can fly higher, faster, better. In closing, I want to say how proud I am of each and every one of us. I alone am standing here on this platform, but even from your seats, you are all standing with me, and I am standing for you. We've accomplished something great, and I can't wait to see what the future holds as we strive to be the best we can be in everything we choose to be. May we continue, like our theme says, to keep on pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Congratulations, class of 2023. You know, Tiana had to call my name. Yeah. I tried to scratch it off when I saw the preview, but I was told that I can't. Thank you, Tiana. Um, for the past few days, I've been doing quite a bit of sales pitching. And um, I want to advise all those of you who heard the marvelous results of the grade six um, national assessment today, that you should pay attention to how far reaching the ripples of awards have been at the grammar school and pay close attention to the disciplines we offer. You need to pay attention. Grammar school, although I'm an old SMA boy, but I think grammar school is an exceptional institution. You should make it your school of choice. Mrs. Shakira Lockett Hippolyte, popularly known as Shecky, was born in Newtown in December 1982. She's an educator, academic administrator, and politician. She attended the St. Martin Primary School and then proceeded to the prestigious Dominica Grammar School. As a student of the DGS, Mrs. Lockett Hippolyte was very actively involved in the affairs of her school. She was a class prefect and later elevated to the position of head girl. Her leadership qualities were evident throughout her tenure as head of the student council, where she fought for and defended the interests of the students and at the same time instilled in them the important virtues of showing respect for authority and working hard to achieve set goals. Upon her graduation, she was awarded the Victor Archer Award for Leadership Honorable Hippolyte also represented the school in athletics and set a national record in the girls' 100-meter race. 
From DGS, she moved on once to the Clifton Jupini Community College Academic Studies Division, where she completed a two-year advanced course of study in private secretarial diploma under the auspices of the University of Leicester. Upon her graduation from the Clifton Jupini Community College, she continued her further academic training and attained a diploma in management from the University of Leicester. Mrs. Shakira Lockhart Hippolyte, upon her graduation from that facility in, 220, in 2002, sorry, returned there, this time in the capacity as a member of staff and at the, of the administrative and teaching staff. She was then elevated to the position of bursa. Honorable Shakira Hippolyte is known as a go-getter. She works with honor and not for honor. She understands the value of social engineering, social activism, and voluntary service. Honorable Shakira Hippolyte is an active Roman Catholic and currently holds the portfolio of Minister of Information and Public Utilities. Before this substantive post, she was Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism with special responsibility for ports. Ladies and gentlemen, our feature speaker, the Honorable Shakira Hippolyte. Chair, let me recognize the Minister of Education, Honorable Octavia Alfred, Dr. Jeffrey Bless, the Chief Education Officer, Mrs. Nazarene Teet, our Senior Education Officer, Ms. Edina Dalton, the Principal of the Dominica Grammar School, the teachers, the parents, the past grammar school students, well wishers, the media, and most importantly, the graduates, graduating class of 2023. Good afternoon, all. The theme for this year's commencement ceremony of the Dominica Grammar School, my alma mater is pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Dear graduates, pursuing dreams, what does that mean? This speaks to working to achieve your set goals, fostering resilience, encourages a culture of stubborn determination to meet set objectives. Adversity, it is the ever-present challenges that one is faced with along your life's journey. When then is that, when then is it that you require in working towards achieving your set goals to bring a sense of reality to your dreams? The sacred text says, nothing good is possible without the authority of God. It is therefore incumbent on all of us, including you, the graduating class, that God is placed at the center of your goal attaining apparatus. We, you, us, cannot possibly succeed without him. Humbling thyself before God through regular, faithful prayer and sticking to his word shall set you on the course to success. You need to continue to show the most absolute respect to your parents, guardians, and teachers. You did not just arrive at this juncture. At this point, I'd like all the graduates to stand and turn to your parents and teachers and say a big thank you on the count of three. One, two, three. You can sit. In this day, we have to show gratitude to those who have assisted us in attaining 
our dreams and our goals. You need to be disciplined. It is a most indispensable asset. You need it to succeed. There are many vehicles of destruction. They take many un unsus unsuspecting and at times very obvious forms. Sexual immorality is a universal commodity. Drug use and abuse and violence amongst our youth is increasing. The internet is likened to be the modern day tree of good and evil that was used to invite sin, in, sin itself into this world. You must therefore be very vigilant as to the sites you go on. Stay away from the false knowledge, wisdom, fake news, pornography, and other appendages of evil. We must desist from doing things under the ban of culture, which are offending the Almighty Father. Dear graduated class, I am fully convinced that you know what is right and you are fully focused onto the correct path. You do have a clear sense of that which must be avoided. Their avoidance will facilitate us to achieve our desired goals. Remember, the wisdom and experience and sacrifice of your parents, teachers, and loved ones. Don't let them down. Anyone or any scenario that isn't part of your quest to reach your progressive objective in life Brush it aside, graduates. Pack it aside. Put it aside and let it go. In fostering resilience and adversity, we must first be able to understand the very society we live in, local, national, regional, and global. Choose your friends wisely. Inculcate and behind plenty yeses. Choose your friends wisely. Okay, parents, we hear you. You heard your parents? Graduates, I'm not hearing you. You heard your parents? Yes. Thank you. Inculcate a passion for social intellectual compatibility. Establish networks that can aid your development. Think big. Be real. Take advantage of career growth opportunities. Engage your teachers. They will guide you. Be humble. Learn to listen and listen to learn. Don't be hesitant to seek help. Research the researched. Conduct due diligence. Be street smart. Learn from the unfortunate cracks that exist within the social system or your very community and avoid them. Look at the patterns of, of success around you and use them as your motivation and guide. Work with the state apparatus it is a viable means to an end. You must believe in your ability to excel. The platform of your success was implanted into your, you several years ago. Build on that foundation. The resilience foundation is a preeminent key to your success. It allows you to make the right decisions. To do so, you must assess human behavior and human psychology. Along this corridor of life, you must be confronted with endless challenges. Things may not always work out for you at the start. Most times, initially, you may not even succeed but this ought never to be the reason to give up. Many success stories were built on fierce determination amidst difficult situations. Many who succeeded in the end told you that at some point they were even pondering on giving up, only to learn that the fruits of success were just around the corner. They were happy that they didn't hang in their proverbial towel. Success is to be seen as a cloth formed out of interwoven resilient threads. It does not just happen. It's a process. 
Life isn't a lottery. And even with this, you got to try, try, and try. And keep on trying. And even while failing, you keep on trying until you make it. I don't suggest the gambling means to success, but I appreciate the consistency involved in this chance enterprise. Did I say to you to gamble? What did I say? You have to take, you have to keep on trying and never give up. But in conclusion, graduates, but who are you, dear graduates? You have had quite an exhilarating and transformational experience at DGS, one of the region's greatest educational institutions. You have been mentored and trained by a highly skilled and dedicated and determined body of teachers. You have been kept in line by a disciplined and highly effective school administrator, Ms. Edina Doughton. Give them a big round of applause. You came from homes and backgrounds where the importance of investing in your future was understood and pursued. You have earned the inviolable right and rare privilege to graduate from the best. This is your moment, your moment to shine and get yourself ready to set the intellectual world ablaze by your resolve, by your discipline, by your skill set, by your divine gifts and blessings, by your ambitious mindset and by your brilliance. Tell the world, we are ready. Let me hear you graduates. We are ready. We are ready. Let's say that with some more enthusiasm. We are, we are ready. That's right. This isn't the end, but the beginning of yet another chapter in your book of success. You will... We have here with us, or will become, medical practitioners, another scientist, top engineer, agriculturists, lead architects, accountants, entrepreneurs, educators, professional sportsperson, president, prime minister, evangelists, church leaders, legal scholars, or even a pope. You might even be our nation's first billionaire. Dear graduates, remember, mere intelligence without discipline effort will result in underachievement or embarrassing failure. Don't be negative. Set out a work plan and work on it. Challenges and opportunities are forever present. Remember, Failure can break the hearts of your parents and loved ones. Don't labas your investment or their investment because you all are not working. Graduating from this quintessential education edifice, DGS, Men Sana Incorporate Sanu, a strong mind in a healthy body is an achievement of a lifetime which many can only dream of. We shall graduate and we will remain the greatest, the greatest, the greatest of all builders. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Hippolyte. There are a few things which stood out to me from this speech and I found it was quite engaging. And the first one was the fact that you asked the students to just turn around and to say thank you. And sometimes I don't think we say thank you enough and so I really appreciated you doing that. Also, she said to you, don't gamble, but she's asking you to take a risk, take a chance and work at it continuously. 
And then the third thing she said, do not lab us your parents' efforts. You know what that means? Don't just take it and just push it in the garbage. Appreciate it and achieve whatever it is that they expect you to. All right? At the Dominica Grammar School, we have quite a few clubs. And today we have two of our clubs, namely the choir and the ballad dancers. And they are going to do some presentations for us. So we want you to sit back and to be entertained by the choir followed by the ballad dancers. Let's give them a round of applause as they come, please. And while they're coming, we'd also like to continue to thank our sponsors. Ms. Crystal Fagan, Mr. Arden Ford, Mrs. Judith Francis, Mr. Ray Francis, Mr. Timius Garway, Mr. Quentin Gregoire, Mrs. Shana Hamilton, Ms. Trenis Hamilton, Ms. Malka Hector, Ms. Shanice Henry, Mr. Brenton Hillier, Father Peter Hill, Mr. Stevenson Hyacinth, Ms. Natasha James, Ms. Summer James, Mr. Kenrick Jajak, Mrs. Paula Jajak, Ms. Tommy Jajak, Dr. Raina Jeffrey, Mrs. Ivona John Baptist Lugay, Dr. Idolin John, Ms. Katie Julian, Mr. Emil Lancelot, Ms. Shireen Larond, and Honorable Shakira Larond Hippolyte. Thank you very much. Life is like a big merry-go-round You're up and then down Going in circles trying to get to where you are Everybody's been cutting you out But where are they now? Going in the same old place, just faces in the crowd We all make mistakes, you might fall on your face But you gotta get up I'd rather stand tall than leave on my knees Cause I am a conqueror Telling me no One thing about me, me Is I am a conqueror I am a conqueror oh. 
them tell you, say, say you can never be the one. But God say, make I tell you, say, say now you him choose in one month, in one week. You will sing a new song in two days, a lesser than you will hear. Congratulations. Thank you very much, our, our choir and the ballad dancers. At this time, I'd like to welcome the Honorable Minister to deliver a few remarks. <laughs> Madam Minister. Good afternoon, everybody. I wonder what I can say after all of this, but I ask you to lend me your ears for six minutes. I want to recognize the presence of Mrs. Lockhart, my cabinet colleague. <laughs> I pray to say the one of the S because everybody seemed to get it wrong. So I don't know if it's Shakira, Shakira, but Honorable Lockhart, my cabinet colleague. <laughs> Dr. Bless, the Acting Chief Education Officer, Mrs. Teet, and every other officials from the Ministry of Education. Mrs. Dalton, the principal, and other members of staff of the Dominica Grammar School, 
all the benefactors, all the donors, all the supporters, parents, well-wishers, the media, and most of all, graduating class, good evening. Now, we have graduated from afternoon to evening. I thank you for inviting me to celebrate with you. I congratulate the class of 2023 on your achievement, and I extend words of commendation to your parents, your teachers, principal, all of those who have supported you along your secondary school journey. The quality of your journey will be dependent on the choices you make and the experiences you create, which will impact your future. Therefore, make good choices, which can determine your experiences and ultimately determine how successful you are in achieving your goals. Be mindful of the attitudes that lend themselves to your attainment of excellence. A positive attitude can serve as your ticket to success. We are confronted with news of adverse weather patterns due to climate change, the Ukraine war, global health crisis, the rise of new powers, rising inflation prices, lingering supply chain constraints, and shrinking economies. Some of these issues may be weighing on your minds as you leave your comfortable place at secondary school. I encourage you, however, to allow these challenges to serve as a motivational force. Consider how you can empower yourselves to make the changes needed to alter for the better the course of civilization and improve the circumstances of your fellow citizens. In other words, do things for people and don't expect anything in return. You know what? Because God pays big time. Bring your... At least y'all are still alert. Very good. Bring your youthful energy, your vision, and your innovation to decision-making in health, education, infrastructure, and bringing an end to child abuse and violence against women. As government, we are cognizant of the intense, fast-paced nature of the developments in the world and the abundance of possibilities that a song the education provides. You, the youth of this country, you should be grateful that this government cheers you on and appreciate your youthful intelligence and energy. Therefore, we work consistently to provide the best environment for our students and teachers to flourish. Government's wish is that every Dominican student would learn in the best possible educational climate. Maybe some people do not understand, but as a past secondary school principal, I understand what it means for your afternoon school program to be cut off. I also understand what it means for the Goodwill Secondary School to run a secondary school program in the afternoon. And we are doing all we can to make sure that this thing is corrected. Because you're going to have a state-of-the-art school when this $43 million new Dominica grammar school is built. <laughs> auditorium, sporting facility, labs. My only sad thing is that you will not get to enjoy your new school. But you'll come back and teach there. And you know what? When you see that group of students will sing our school song, they will indeed understand the line that stays a school for human eyes and I say our school yes I went to Dominica grammar school and I was in Skinner what are you saying we were fight <laughs> <laughs> but we were fighting for last place in my time <laughs> but I am glad to hear that Skinner is making it big now because it was all <laughs> It was always about Domini and Jupini. <laughs> now, more than ever before, students, you have the opportunity for tertiary education. 
you have access to timely and reliable transportation to and from school, and we have other safety nets, including in some schools, meals and snacks, and to make sure our children enjoy the experience, we ensure that we do all we can to relieve the burden, textbook schemes, school supplies, uniforms, exam fees, and so I was somewhere and somebody asked me if there is a real place on, on the earth. And the person was from Washington because they couldn't believe that we were supplying students with uniform and books and shoes. And that is why I, I en encourage us that we should not take these programs for granted because somebody is paying for it. So with the support of friendly government, we also provide you the opportunity to go away and study. What we have is what we call a gate. Government Assistant for Tertiary Education. As you make up your mind to go and study, do not just follow what friends are doing because you want to stay linked up. Pay attention to what is going on in your country. We are looking for people to fill in the positions that the international airport will create. To fill in the position that GGO formal project will create to fill in position in the blue and green economy and the digital economy, in tourism. So when you get a chance after all this excitement and celebration, go and research certain things that you can study as it pertains to operating an international airport so that you study things that are relevant to development of this country so that when you go and come back, you're good to go. It is important they already make you say a big thank you. I on five minutes. I have one more minute. They already make you say a good thank you to your parents and your principals and teachers who have toiled to ensure that you are where you are today. I urge our teachers to remain steadfast in your duties as we do our best to create the right opportunity for you. I am concerned, however, that the pastoral care of our students must be given a higher position on our agenda. The school must know about our students more than just their names, their date of birth, their address. We must be acquainted with their life at home. Where do they live? How do they live? How do they get to school? We must be acquainted with their life at home. Be students, be forever grateful for the presence and dedication of those who have guided you through this important phase of your lives. As you move to the next stage of your development, I charge you to set goals high and pursue your dreams. Do not be overcome by negativity or allow yourself to be broken by the challenges of your life. Sometimes the steps will be big and there will be plenty, but sometimes it will take effort. It will just be one step one step. The fact is keep moving forward. Align yourself with those who will inspire you and open your mind to the vast possibilities that life holds. Always give thanks to the Almighty that is due to his name. Feed your spiritual life. Sometimes we eat and we eat all nice things or physical but you need to feed your spiritual lives. Because one of those good days when you'll go to China to study, your mother will not be there. You're going to be able to stand up, you and God, sometimes alone. Uh, go out there, impact your world positively, make good news. I'm going to hold the program, you know, I always hold the program. So according to, no, no, for, I hold the program for one reason, when the CXC results come out, I look not for the names. And if any of these names on this program a piece of news should come out about you. Let it be good news. Make good news. And remember your experiences at the Dominica Grammar School. God bless you. Jesus loves you and I love you too. Good afternoon. Thank you, Honorable Alfred. And I think you would have been seriously deprived if the Madam Minister did not deliver this address. Thank you. Okay. At this juncture in our graduation, we wish to award one special teacher amongst us. And that's me. Not you. No? You are not that special. 
Okay. Um, Miss <laughs> Miss Dalton, may I, may I take leave? I am terribly sorry. All right. The person that we are going to award this afternoon is Miss Lysia Seaman. And she is perhaps the smallest member on staff, but she is a dynamic. Yeah, she's a powerhouse. And a lot of what transpired here this afternoon is as a result of Miss Simmons' input. Would you like to know what's in the envelope? Um, after you'll check me out, okay? Okay, we do have some bouquets and some baskets to present. So the ushers. And after that, we are going to have our vote of thanks. So we are coming to an end. We know you are tired. Uh, so we want to continue thanking our sponsors, uh, Miss Alia Martin, Mr. Carlian McPherson, Aisha Mark Memorial, Mr. Dennison Mitchell, Miss Priscilla Parkett, Mrs. Carlin Parillo, Miss Sharon Philogen, Mrs. Jennifer, Mrs. Jeanette Raffle. Mr. Daniel Reed, Mr. Gustus Rivier, Ms. Celia Robinson, Mr. Donnie Robinson, Mr. James Rodney, Mr. Kurt Samuel, Mr. Liam Sebastian, Ms. Nellister Tracy Daniel, Ms. Daphne Vidal, Mr. Brendan Williams, Mr. Brent Williams, Mrs. Daisy Williams, Ms. Tyska Williams, Mr. Benton Wyck, the DGS PTA, class of 87, class of 88 and class of 92. We'd like to thank all these individuals for their sponsorship. Also, we want to thank Ms. Miranda Jennifer Williams uh, Education Trust Fund and Felicia Romain. Thank you immensely for your sponsors, for your sponsorship. Our vote of thanks will be done by Ms. Taya Blondell, the student of the year. Taya is the daughter of Beryl Newton and Marcus Blondell. She commenced her academic journey at the Dominica Grammar School in September of 2018. From inception, Taya has shown interest in volunteer work and has always had a keen interest in developing her social skills. And she has honed these skills by getting a, by sorry, and she has honed these skills by getting engaged in sporting activities. And she was a member of the school's basketball, netball, and volleyball teams. She developed a love for Spanish and through her academic excellence, was selected to represent the school at the secondary school Spanish spelling competition. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic caused the competition to be canceled. However, this did not, this did not stop her love for the subject. Thea is a bond leader and has held positions to include class monitor, prefect, deputy head girl, and PRO of the Adventure Club. These positions pushed her to be the best versions of herself. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2023 student of the year, Thea Elizabeth Blondell. Minister. 
Minister of Education, Human Resource Planning, Vocational Training, and National Excellence, Mrs. Octavia Alfred. Honorable Shakira Lokas Hippolyt, featured speaker. Chief Education Officer, Dr. Jeffrey Bless. Senior Education Officer, Secondary Schools, Mrs. Mazarinti, and other Ministry of Education staff. Principal, Mr. Edina Dalton, past principals and past teachers of the Mornington Grammar School. PTA President, Mr. Anna Alexander, and other exec executive members. Representatives of Dumbleck, Fine Foods, and other manufacturers. Members of the class of 87, representatives of the class of 88, representatives of the various business houses, representatives of the various media houses, staff of the ZPS, parents, well wishers, and other invited guests, graduating class of 2023. Good afternoon. Oh, good evening. I am elated to be standing here today tasked with the responsibility of delivering the vote of thanks on behalf of the graduating class of 2023. Let me start off by thanking the Almighty Father for granting us health, strength, traveling mercies, and for also granting us favorable weather conditions in order to have a successful ceremony. <laughs> A special thanks to our guest speaker, Honorable Shakira Lokat, for accepting our invitation and for being here with us today. It was such a pleasure listening to your, listening to your address and internalizing the inspiring words you left with us today. I am sure that I speak for everybody when I say that it was well received and will be applied in our next step of life. On behalf of the graduating class, Allow me to register our most profound thanks to Honorable Octavia Alfred, Minister of Education, who presented us with our diplomas and other awards and prizes. Thank you to the senior, thank you to the senior executive officer of secondary schools, Mrs. Nazarene Teet, who we appreciate your attendance and willingness to present the sports awards to Mr. Jeffrey Bless. Thanks for gracing us with your presence. To Mr. Anna Alexander, who is our existing PTA president, we thank you for presenting the PTA awards. To the other members of education personnel we would we, who may attend this, let me start again. To all the other Ministry of Education personnel who may attend this graduation ceremony of priority, Thank you for thinking of us and gracing us with your time and presence. Thanks to Pastor Alexander Lewis for invoking the presence of God in our mind, in our midst. To our past DGS, past students, and other patrons, we extend our deepest gratitude. Thank you for the generous contributions towards this graduation. To the principal and staff, Words will, words will never be enough to express how grateful we are for the past years of dedication and service that you have devoted to us daily. We are thankful that you all have held our hands and guided us every step of the way to ensure that today would have been a reality for us all, for all of us here. It would be remiss of me if I did not single out our principal, Miss Dalton, who went above and beyond in many instances to make sure to make us a priority and made efforts to improve our educational experience. We thank you for everything and hope to make you proud in our future endeavors. To our parents, you all are the ones who can really and truly share every bit of our excitement as we experience all the emotions that we do in real time. Thank you for being so supportive of us in our educational journey and investing your time and money into us. We would not have been able to be here had it not been for the many sacrifices made and your unwavering love and support. Your support will stay in our hearts forever. We are grateful to the, past, the pastor and members of the People's Pentecostal Family Church for the use of the building. Thanks to the media personnel 
present at our graduation ceremony. Thanks to the ushers, the decorators, and other other staff members who, in one way or another, assisted in today's ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Stay. And we're at the point that many of you have been waiting for, the benediction. So let us all stand and we will ask our vice principal, Mr. Frank, to lead us in prayer. Then we will have the school song led by Mr. Augustine and myself. Okay, let us pray. I'm not going to make a long hallelujah. We give him thanks. Amen? We give him thanks. Amen. Can everybody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have been so good to us. For unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we may ever ask or think of. We give you praise, glory, and honor for what have gone forth. We pray in your holy name, in your matchless name, bless these children, bless the graduating classes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please stand at attention for the school song. And students, we really need you to sing out. This is your last time wearing your uniform. May we have the music? Is the music? We say no. The greatest... The greatest, the greatest of all builders wrought with his mighty hand.
remain standing as we allow our special invited guests, if they can depart. Okay, so um, we know it's raining out, out there. So our special invited guests have agreed to remain where they are because it's raining outside. And we will allow our graduates to depart. I don't know whether we are able to depart with the, with the song. Okay, it's not raining, so may we have the song for the departure of the graduates. Wrong song. This is not the song. Um, Do you count the vibe? This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 follow you. They go this year, good news, die, plenty, body. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you take off Everything I be wanting, manifesting for my life Everything you be wanting, manifesting for your life Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa, you too sure, you don't fit for your hand Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa, you too sure Money, testimony Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go This year, good news Giant, plenty burning Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go Do you count the vibe? This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 you they go. This year, good news, die, plenty, body. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you take off Everything I be wanting, manifesting for my life Everything you be wanting, manifesting for your life Even 
even before you call, you don't answer prayer. My papa is too shy, you don't fit for your hand. Even before you call, you don't answer prayer. My papa is too shy, Money, testimony Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, follow, follow you they go This year, good news Giant, plenty money Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, follow, follow you they go Some do count the vibe. This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 you they go. This year, good news, die, plenty, body. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you take off Everything I be wanting, manifesting for my life Everything you be wanting, manifesting for your life Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa is too shy, you don't fit for your hand Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa is too shy Money, testimony Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go This year, good news Giant, plenty money Go to follow, 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 follow Follow, 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 you they go Some do count the vibe. This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 you they go. This year, good news, giant, plenty, body. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you they go Everything I be wanting, manifesting for my life Everything you be wanting, manifesting for your life Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa is too shy, you don't fit for your hand Even before you call, you don't answer prayer My papa is too shy Blessing, 
money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 follow you they go. This year, good news, giant plenty money. Go to follow, 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 follow you they go. Suddenly it's like women and men Will the past be 